today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make toggles for your Vroid models. For example, how I can just magically turn into the winter version of me with different hair color, different outfit, different skin textures. And I'm also going to show you how to do different hairstyles as well. Like how I'm just chilling in my normal version. And then wow, I'm completely different. And now I have a different hairstyle. I'm going to show you how to make toggles like these. So for this tutorial, you're going to need your Vroid model in Vroid. Make sure you haven't exported it yet because some things that you need to do before you can use Unity. We're only going to be using Vroid and Unity. You're also going to need some form of art program. I know there's art programs you can use that are online. You can use Pixar, which is a free alternative. I'm going to use Clip Studio Paint. You're going to need Unity 2019.4.23 F1. That's the version I use. I don't think it matters really unless you're using other things. You also don't need AR kit, just using the default blend shapes that you get from Vroid. This I'm not going to have my VTuber on the screen just so I don't block anything. Um, so if you're having different skin textures, like your body texture, your skin texture, you can export it with either texture. For now, it doesn't matter which, we will edit that in Unity. But if you're doing outfits or hairstyles, not hair color, just hairstyles, this is what you need to do. For your outfits, make sure that you have all of your outfits combined on here and also make sure they're visible like combined like they are now. You may need to use like the inner top and some of the other things to make sure that everything can stay in one. So it's gonna look like a little bit of a mess, but that's okay because we sort it out later. And for the hairstyle, you're gonna need to do the exact same thing. You're gonna have to have both hairstyles on. You're gonna have to have all the hairstyles visible. However, there's something slightly different for the hairstyles. Even if it's the same color, you're gonna need to make sure that one hairstyle um, has one texture has one material for example here in the top right it says hairstyle one normal that's how i've made it and also have hairstyle one highlight and that's all for the first hairstyle which is the ponytail that he has which i will actually show you because i've grouped it into hairstyle one so if i turn off all the hairstyle two it's easy if you label them just so when you're turning stuff on and off to check you can tell like this is hairstyle one um so this all has two separate materials and then hairstyle 2, which is this, is using the hairstyle 2 normal and the hairstyle 2 highlight. So we're just going to turn all of this on. So once all of your stuff is on, like both outfits, both hairstyles, then we're going to go to Unity. Just want to change the hair color, like for me on Mirror, when I can change my hairstyle hair color to white. Um, we're going to do that separately. Make sure that you do have the textures saved though separately, the different hair colors, because we're going to have to do in your chosen art program. So once you're done with Vroid, you're going to export it as a VRM. You don't need to do anything with reducing these things um, or combining the hair mesh. You can you can leave them separate. I like to untick combine hair mesh because, like for example, this fur is hair. So I'm going to combine it in Blender, but you don't need to do that. This is just me. And then you just export it like you normally would. Next, you're going to want to open the drawing program of your choice. I'm going to use Clip Studio, so if you're not using Clip Studio, you may need to figure out another way to do to follow the steps that I'm doing. So as I mentioned before, you need to have all your textures saved. So on Vroid, you can right click on your textures and press um, export, which will save it to your device. For example, I have this skin texture for Griffin. This is his face. This is for his normal mode. And then this is the evil face. And in Unity, I want both of those because I want to be able to switch between them. So what I'm going to do is go to edit change canvas size and you only care about the width you're just going to take whatever the width is right now and double it so 2048 it would be and then what you're going to do is just snap one to this end it might be a little difficult to make them snap and then take the evil face put it into your program and then put that on the other end you want to make sure that it's perfectly aligned and like there's no little white line like there it might take you a while if you're using Clip Studio. If you have something that snaps perfectly, it might be a little bit easier. But in the end, it should be a combination like this. Like this is for mirrors texture. There should be like a, no white gaps in the middle, no gaps either side or anywhere. It should just be perfect like this. So you can do this for the body. Like this is a body texture. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it for the hair as well. For example, for the hair, it's a rectangle like this. It's not square like the rest of them are. So you're just gonna have to look at the number and do and double it and then what you're gonna want to do is do the same thing just snap one to either side like this i'm sure if you wanted wanted to add more than one hair color you could 
times it by three and then slot them like that and then change the tiling that we're going to do next. You don't close them yet though because I'm going to show you the easy way to put them into your model. Once you've done this for all of them, we're now going to move to Unity. You're going to want to open a new Unity project, just um, a 3D project. This is the version of Unity that I'm using, 2019.4.23 F1. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Project 7. Actually, no, I'm just going to call it Tutorial. There you go. Just going to create an empty project. You're going to need to import a package immediately, which is going to be the uni VRM package, which I will link down in the description. This is a free package. This is just so you can import your VRM from Vroid. So now you've got this, you're going to right click, press import package, and then you're going to find where you've installed the uni VRM. This might come up. I've never seen that before, but just press yeah. Okay. Um, now you're going to see a little VRM zero pop up over here on where it says file and edit. There should be a VRM zero. I don't know if you can see that on my screen. And then you're going to press import from VRM and you're going to find where you've exported your Vroid model. And then it's going to ask you to save the prefab and you're just going to press save in. Don't try and move that anywhere. Make sure it's in the folder that it just default opened. That's going to take a while to import as well. And now your model's going to be here. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag it into the hierarchy. And I'm going to do this without having ARKit on. First of all, before we start doing the toggle, you're going to want to go to textures and Say if you have a different face thing, you're going to right click, press show in Explorer. And then it's going to open the folder where it is. And you're going to want to export the combined face that you have, like the combined texture, export it. This is 04. So I'm just going to paste my combined skin texture here. It's called Griff Face. And then I'm going to delete 04, which is the face that he has right now. I recommend you don't tab into Unity when this is happening, because it's going to be very creepy. Just going to rename it to underscore zero four. And then when you go back into Unity, the face is going to look a little bit warped, but that's OK. Now you're going to want to do that for um, every hair texture that you wanted a different color. And if you wanted the body different color, you're going to have to do it for that as well. An easy way to find out what number it is is to just find it in this texture tab and then press show and explorer from there and then you're just going to know which one it is. So there you go. Now I have both textures in. It looks a little bit funky. Now, the next step, you're going to go to your materials and you're going to disable the extra outfits. So you're going to just only leave your normal outfits enabled. To do this, you're going to just press on the material that you want to get rid of, which is going to be the alternative outfit where it says texture over here. You're going to press on the lit color alpha and the A all the way down. That's just the opacity. They're just going to make it transparent, basically. So now when everything that you don't want for the first outfit is gone, if you've done the tiling like I have, where the face is face and body and hair are now messed up, what you're going to want to do is go on to the material for the face Scroll down to where it says scale and offset and it should be 0.5 or negative 0.5 for the face you want. Oh yeah. So keep Y as one and just change the X to either 0.5 or negative 0.5. For me, it's negative 0.5 because 0.5 is the evil, which I don't want. And then same for the body. There you go. And now your model should look like the default preset. Now to add the toggle. We're going to find the blend shape controller, which is usually the third blend shape in, but just press the little blend shapes so you find it. Then you're going to press create blend shape. Call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it um, alt outfit. And then we're going to go into the material list. This is what we're going to edit. So first, I'm going to do the skin and the body change, which is also hair if you have an alternate hair color. Um, so we're going to find it. So it's going to be called body skin. And what we're going to want to press is main texture standard. And we're going to change the tiling. So for me, it was negative 0.5. So now I'm going to change the tiling to 0.5 and Y is one. Don't forget the Y is one. And now we're going to press plus and do it's going to come up with the same thing. And we're just going to change it to the face. There you go, now the face is different, and I also need to do it for the backs of the eyes, which is the scleras. 
And now next, I want to make the hair and the other outfit show up. But first, I'm going to get rid of the outfit that I don't want. So what we're going to do is change it from the main texture standard, change it from main texture standard to color. And then what we're going to do, so we're going to select what we want to get rid of. This is difficult. I find this difficult. It might help if you go into your materials, write down what everything is, because it does get really confusing if you have a lot of stuff. But I'm just going to show you one example. Hopefully I get one right. We're going to... I think it's cloth 04. If I just turn it to white and then turn it, for example, if I want this off, it's going to be set to on, but you're going to turn it off. And I'm going to keep doing that until this whole outfit is gone. Let me make this bigger if I can, just so I can show you guys. What you can do is pop this out. Um, to a floating window so everything's a bit bigger for you to clearly see what you're getting rid of. The good thing about this you can just keep pressing the plus and it'll save what you just did before so. That's everything that I don't want off and now I'm gonna turn everything that I don't want off. So to do that I'm just gonna change this from off to on and then select everything that you want on that's everything that i want so that's it that's for the alt outfit now i'm gonna show you for the alt hair it's literally the same thing for a different hairstyle so just make a new blend shape alternative hair go to material list first it makes you select your material so i'm gonna do hair and i'm gonna turn the default hair off so i'm gonna press color and then we're gonna make it white and then off and then we're gonna do the same thing for the rest of it like i need to turn it around to make sure it's all gone there you go he's bald and now we're gonna turn the other one on just this on and then change the texture and that's the alternative hairstyle and then if you want an alternative hairstyle color you're just gonna have to do the same thing with the tiling like i did for the face the back of the eyes and the body I haven't experimented doing different outfit colors or anything else, but I'm sure that you can apply it to that. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up in VC face. It's just like setting up a blend shape toggle. There are tutorials if you're using Vinyan or any other. Um, if you're using any other program and there isn't a tutorial on it, let me know and I can look into it and see if that you can if you can do that on these programs. So what you're going to want to do is now you're just going to want to press export to VRM. Um, it's going to ask you, you're just going to drag your model into this and then it'll probably ask you to put a version. So I'm just going to put version zero and then it'll let you export it. So export it and save it wherever you like. You're going to want to open VC face and then you're going to press add avatar and then add the avatar that you want. And now that you've added the avatar, which is here, you're going to go to settings, expression settings, and then scroll to where you have the alternative outfit blend shapes and then scroll to where you've added these extra blend shapes. So for here, I've called it uh, hair. So you're gonna press hotkey and you're gonna change it to what you want. So I've just assigned it to hair. It was already there, but see, now you can switch between them. What you might want to do is also turn down the transition time, because if you turn the transition time up, you can see it twisting and it's not something that you want to look at. You want it on basically zero for a more seamless look. Another issue that you may have when you're doing this, which I can show you with this model, is when you sometimes switch textures, you need to invert it because as you can see, like the ear piercings flip to the other side. So that's all done. Hopefully that helps. Comment down below if you don't understand anything or you need stuff explained to you more clearly because I know I'm not the best at explaining things, but hopefully that helps you create toggles. Let me know if there's anything else that you want me um, to make tutorials on you want figured out. I'll try. Ooh.